Okay, so we have all written down ideas of things we want to do this half term and put them in a pot and we are going to pick out an activity and we have to do that activity. The rules are we have to do it unless it's something that mummy says we're not allowed to do because it's against lockdown rules or something. Um, but we have to do it. No one's allowed to complain. And if it's an outside one and it's raining, we still have to do it and just get wet. So we're going to pick our first activity of the week and Abigail's going to take the first pick. Close your eyes. Okay. So today we are going to write, write a, a story. story. Okay, so we've decided to write our story using some story dice. So here we go, let's roll the dice and see what our story is going to be about. Okay, so we've got a bicycle and a telephone, a pile of poo, a nice hot cup of tea, a clock and a ladder. Uh, I have a feeling this could make for a very interesting story. Uh, especially this one with children involved. So we'll see how our story goes. So here is our story. The alarm sounded and Bob slowly turned in his bed to stop the noise. Reluctantly, he arose from his bed and headed downstairs to make a cup of coffee. While he was enjoying his coffee, the phone rang loudly in the other room. Bob picked up the phone. Hello, he said sleepily. Hi Bob, it's Steve. I really need your help, mate. My cat Jeanette is stuck in a tree. Can I borrow your ladder? Twenty minutes later, Bob was riding his push bike along the road with his ladder balanced precariously on the top. When he arrived at Steve's house, he swung the ladder up against the tree and began to climb towards Jeanette. He was almost in reaching distance of the pesky cat when he... Suddenly lost his footing and slipped all the way back down, crashing to the floor, landing in the biggest pile of poo you had ever seen. I knew I should have stayed in bed, grumbled Bob. <laughs> 